हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रीडिंग डेटा फ्रॉम अ फाइल इन सी प्लस प्लस गेटिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द फाइल इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू परफॉर्म बिकॉज विदाउट गेटिंग द डेटा वी कैन नॉट परफॉर्म एनी टास्क बट डोंट वरी सी प्लस प्लस प्रोवाइड्स दैट ऑप्शन टू You can read information from files into your C++ program. This is possible using stream extraction operator. You use the operator in the same way you use it to read user input from the keyboard. Instead of using the scene object, you use the if stream or f stream object let's see the code how to read data from a file first of all include the header file io stream which is the responsible for input output stream then after that include the header file f stream which is responsible for handling files inside the main function create the object of f stream class f stream is the name of the class and my underscore file is the name of the object then after that use the open function to create a new file named my underscore file dot txt how to open a file name of the object dot operator the name of the open function the open function takes two parameter the first parameter is the name of the file name of the file is my underscore file dot text and the second parameter is file opening mode now in this case the file will be opened in the in mode for reading from it so, ios scope resolution operator in name of the file is my underscore file and we have to open this file in reading mode then after that use an if statement to check whether file does not exist if not my underscore file if this condition is true then text to print on console if the file is not found with see out display the message file not found if this condition is evaluated to be false then else part is to be evaluated inside the body of else part declare a variable which is of character type ch is the name of the variable then after that create a while loop for iterating over the file content the while one or while any non zero value is used for infinite loop there is no condition for while as one or any non zero value is present then the condition is always true 
and inside the body of while loop store the content of a file in variable ch then use the if condition and eof function that is end of the file to ensure the compiler keeps on reading from the file if the end is not reached if my underscore file is the name of the file dot eof function eof stands for end of the file this function to ensure the compiler keeps on reading from the file if the end is not reached after that use a break statement to stop reading from the file once the end is reached then after that print the content of variable ch onto the console with c out display the contents of variable ch onto the console then end of the while loop body then after that end of the body of else statement and then call the close function to close the file how to close the file object name dot operator then name of the close function now run this code now after the execution of this code first of all with i underscore file extraction operator ch reading the content from a file and store in the variable ch after that if condition is there and eof function that is end of the file to ensure the compiler keeps on reading from the file if the end is not reached then after that use the break statement to stop reading from the file once the end is reached then print the content of variable ch onto the screen right the content of file is to be printed onto the console we can also edit the text file now run this code after the execution of this code the output is database database is to be printed onto the screen endl is for new line now character by character output is to be displayed onto the screen the line number 18 and 19 is for reading the content from a file break statement is there that is used to stop reading from the file once the end is reached and the line number 21 print the content of variable ch onto the screen this is all about the concept of reading from a file in c++